Hello, I'm Officer Philip Pico of the Fountain Valley Police Department. Has this ever happened to you? Hello, I'd like to apply for a loan, and I should get it, and I should. My credit is terrific. Certainly, sir. Let me check. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't give you that loan. Your credit is terrible. What? Or what about this one? Hello, I really love your home, and I want to buy it, and I should. My credit is terrific. Certainly, sir. Let me make a phone call. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't give it to you. Your bank account is closed. How? Or maybe this one. Oh, I'm really qualified for this job, and I should get it. Bang, then I'm in the middle of a job interview. Oh, I'm sorry. I can't give you that job. You're wanted in Alaska. Where? Sound familiar? It may not be your fault. You may be the victim of identity theft. And you're not the only one. This year alone, identity theft will affect anywhere between five and one billion people. That's a lot or a few. But what can I do about it, you may say, Officer Pico? These people are good. I feel like a weak little flower. Well, I say, toughen up, dandelion, because there's plenty you can do. And I'm going to school you. Now watch and learn. Hello? Hello, I'm a complete stranger. Can I have your social security number? Certainly. It's 777-35- Okay, what did he do wrong? Did he A, give out his driver's license number, B, tell the man his correct address, or C, reveal his social security number to the way later? If you take things, you're on the right track. Starting to feel more empowered? Good! But don't get too cocky, Daffodil, because what would you do in this next more difficult situation? Watch! Wow, I can't wait to buy a hat on the internet of this computer that is right in front of me. Welcome to our website. Just click on the hat you want. Ooh, a fantastic sombrero! Great! Now enter your social security number. Why not? It's 774-325- Did you catch it that time? Arg, it's like they never learned, but did you? The answer once again was C. If you got it right both times, you're up to two points. Good job, but don't get too high and mighty petunia head, because this next one's a doozy. I wonder who that could be. Hello. Hi, I'm with UPS. I don't have a package today. Just wanted to verify this is the correct address of Officer Philip Pico. Yes, it is. Oh, well, can you prove that with maybe a driver's license? Here, take it. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, and my social security number is 77735. I got all three things wrong. A trifecta. If you said A, B, or C, or A, B, and C, or any of the above or below, you're really getting a point. Never give out your driver's license number, never give out your correct address, and never, ever, ever reveal your social security number. Don't even write it down. If you do, grab some scissors, cut it up, shove it in a shredder, put each piece in a separate paper bag, deposit it in as many different trash cans as you can, make sure it's picked up between the hours of 7 a.m. and 12 p.m., follow the garbage man to the dump site, watch it as it's all trashed and burned, throw the ashes into the stratosphere, and everything will be fine. Good job! Well, I hope you learned a little something today. I know I did, because I feel great. And remember, don't be the victim of identity theft. The thieves don't deserve the credit. Get it? Good!